As we approach the holidays, we are thinking about all of the paramedics and first responders that are protecting our public. Our paramedics don't do their work alone, though. A very important part of our team are the emergency communication officers that answer calls under very stressful conditions to get paramedics to you as quickly as they possibly can. A critical link also is the person that dials 911. Without someone recognizing the emergency and calmly and bravely relaying all the important information to the emergency communication officer, we can't get to your emergency in a timely manner. We're very proud of the brave young man who we're celebrating today and who helped in this call. This event should serve as a reminder to everyone, no, no matter how old or how young you are, we all can play a role in protecting one another during emergencies. Ronan, you're being honored today with the EMS Life Saving Award for the actions that you took to save your mom's life. The actions you took that morning when you saw that your mom needed help because of her diabetes were very brave. You must have been scared, but you managed to provide the emergency responders with the information that they needed so they could help your mom. You told them your mom had diabetes and she needed help. You told them your address and your phone number. And you stayed on the phone with them until you were told to hang up. You might only be six years old, but you showed maturity and thoughtfulness far beyond your years. You stayed focused and you followed directions. And if you're thinking about what you want to be when you grow up, you might have the stuff to be an EMS provider. So on behalf of our Premier, my government colleagues, and everyone who's here today, congratulations, Ronan, for receiving an EMS Life Saving Award.